Welcome back to the channel. Thanks to my sponsor, PCB Way. Where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move is on the page. Welcome to part two. Here I'm removing the supports of the PCB holder. Caught up in a daydream, I be in my mind up there almost daily. It's how I pass time, no opinions safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place. See, cause everybody wanna tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What fame brings, but success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let myself down, myself down. In the previous video, you could see I made different iterations of this PCB holder. Here you can see the rounded one. We're gonna use this one with the back shield and the other one I don't want to waste it so we're going to use that one without a back shield we need to solder the Wemos D1 Mini to the PCB we made in the do-it-yourself LED crown and just when I wanted to start the batteries went dead so it was time to replace it this happens a lot when you shoot a lot of video and as you can see, I made a tool to help me get the screw fitted and unfitted when I need to. Now back to soldering. Get the Wemos D1 Mini on the PCB and get it soldered. PCB Way for sponsoring this video. PCB Way is best known for manufacturing PCBs, but they also do CNC machining, 3D printing, and much more. Also handy is the PCB prototype assembly. Go check them out on PCBWay.com. Now we get to the step I usually forget. Check everything before you assemble it. Because when you assemble it and it doesn't work, you have to start all over again. We are using the squared top of the stem this time. This one will not fit if you're using a back shield. Because of the curvature of the back shield, I had to make that other one. After you screw on the stem, you put it in the casing. I printed this one in uh, transparent PETG and later on if I put on the light you'll see it's transparent. body is transparent but not clear so you don't need to back shield and 
and it does give a really nice effect if you're gonna use the clear housing like we're gonna do here you need the back shield otherwise you'll see the PCB from the bottom on these are the parts printed by PCB way and they look really good just like you could expect from them after putting in the front shield I'm putting in the middle shield I printed myself this is meant to reflect the light a little more inside so you get a better effect after testing we're gonna put on the back shield that's the main difference with the other one and after we put on the stem we're gonna put it on the front When you put it on the first time, it really looks amazing. <laughs> I was blown away by that. This clear part printed by PCB Way is a resin printed part. Be careful with it. It's really sensitive for scratching. I wish I could do this myself, but I still don't have a resin printer yet. Okay, after all this work, let's see what the results are. I think they look the best in solid colors, but of course they can do all the special effects WLED can do for you. They are synced with WLED, I just put them next to each other so you can see the differences. I'll let you decide which one you like better. And again, thanks to my Patreons. Like and subscribe, or you can support me on Patreon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next.